Hey everyone, it's Ms. Bell here again in the Science Lab, and we are talking about the physical property of texture. Now that means what an object feels like. Is it rough? Or is it smooth? Those are usually the two terms you hear, but there are also other different ways that you can classify objects on how they feel. Is it slimy? Is it wet? Is it fluffy or furry? Is it bumpy? Is it cottony? So we are going to look at a lot of different items and try to sort them and classify them depending on how they feel and their texture. So these are all the different types of textures we're going to be talking about. Furry, like my um, curly Q pipe cleaner right here. Or fluffy, like the end of my pen, this really feather um, piece of my pen. Or soft, like this cotton ball, super soft. A lot of our blankets and clothes are made out of cotton. Or even smooth, like this straw right here, really smooth if I run my finger over it. I also um, have a, an item that would be considered hard, right? And rough. If I grab this piece of sandpaper and I rub my finger over it, ow, that's going to hurt after a while because it's rough. I also have some honey over here, and it's ooey gooey. Oh my gosh, you do not want to get this anywhere because it'll be so, so sticky. And then I have my alligator. The very top of my alligator is very uh, bumpy to the touch. So I'm going to put that over here with bumpy. But if I grab, let's say, this fur piece right here, even though it's very soft, I'm going to classify or label it as furry. So I'm going to put that right here. How about my battery? If I rub my finger on the outside of the battery, it's very, very smooth right here, even though there's a bumpy piece right here. So I'm going to label that as smooth. My glass bottle is very hard, very hard and smooth. Now my uh, daughter's stuffed animal right here is furry and squishy and soft even though the little flippers and the beak are um, made out of kind of these glittery pieces so it's a bit gritty but the body is what I'm focused on um, I would call that more of a fluffy texture so I'm gonna put that with my feather pin right there now my star crunch oh my gosh I love these I love to eat them if I take this out of the package and I um, feel the very top of this little sweet treat. It's going to feel very bumpy. So I'm going to put that with my pizza and alligator. And um, right here I have a very scratchy bronze colored um, item that we use sometimes to scrub dishes or scrub counters but it's very scratchy and it's actually kind of very uncomfortable to touch and to put between my fingers, so I'm going to put that as rough. So now I want you to think, what are some objects that you would classify as slimy or flaky? One thing my daughter loves to play with is slime. Not only play with it, but also make it. So I would put um, slime as slimy, and I think of the outside of a branch where all the bark is falling off and it looks very flaky. But these items have all been sorted, thanks to you guys, and classified depending on um, their texture, that physical property of texture or what they feel like.